Welcome back to my channel, Carly Page. My name is Carly, and this is where I talk about all of my projects that I'm currently working on or ones that I plan to work. Today, we are going to talk about all of the knitted dress patterns that I would love to knit up for this summer. I don't know about all of you, but I am completely over winter at the moment. I'm coming to you from Calgary, Alberta, and for a little while it was really starting to feel like spring. We had some nice weather, the snow was melting, and then overnight we got about a foot of snow and really, really cold weather. So it feels like I'm back in the midst of winter and I need to dream and think about wearing these beautiful, light, airy, knit dresses this summer and I'd love to share them all with you, get your thoughts on them and see what you want to knit for this summer. So if you have any summer knitting plans, please let me know in the comments what you're planning on knitting. So I have 10 dresses that I've chosen from Ravelry and they are all linked in the description box below and I also have a bundle saved on my Ravelry page just called dresses and my Ravelry page is Carly Page just like this channel so if you wanted to see them all together you can head over there. The first one we are going to talk about is the Winona dress by Sari Nordland. So this one here is just a really super simple spaghetti strap v-neck in the front and back with a beautiful little slip at the back hem of the dress. This is knit in the Sadness Garn Tick Lena, I think is how it's pronounced, and it is a bulky weight yarn. So it uses US 8 5 millimeter and US 7 4.5 millimeter needles. This yarn is 53% cotton and um, some rayon and then 15% linen. So a cotton linen blend would be perfect for this dress and great for a summer, summer fabric as well. Um, this pattern goes for 5.90 euros. I love the way Sari knit this up in a really like neutral beige color. I think that's perfect for a summer staple piece because you can just add accessories and color to it that way and just have this piece to wear again and again throughout the season. I also think you could pair this with a cute white t-shirt underneath or even a long sleeve on the cooler days, but this could go from the beach to shopping to just doing work around your house. I think it is a perfect, simple summer dress. And next we have the cloud bow dress, and this is from the Pom Pom Quarterly issue number 40, the spring 2022. So you can buy the, this via Ravelry, or you might even be able to find it at your local yarn store too. And this dress has a top version and a dress version. And I think this leaves a lot of room for modifications in this. You can play with different sleeves. It does get cinched in on the pattern just below the elbow, but you could play with bell sleeves with this, do shorter or longer. And this calls for mostly mohair silk lace weight yarn and a US 10 and a half, 6.5 millimeter and US 6, 4 millimeter needle size. And this again, um, goes is from a magazine so it's saying it's about $18.87 um, Canadian to buy. I love what they did with the different stripes in this on the sample. It looks just so like light airy and angelic with the light colors that they chose. So I would picture myself knitting some something similar to what they did in the samples here. Also this would be a perfect scrappy mohair project for you if you have a lot of mohair in your stash. I do not have any mohair in my stash so this is something I'd have to buy new for but that I don't mind for a beautiful dress like this. I also saw in the project some people did black versions just an all black with a nice slip dress underneath and it is gorgeous something again that you could really dress up but I do love this like really light and airy version that they knit so I do see myself leaning towards more of that for this dress. 
And here is a really fun and different type of knitting pattern that you don't see a lot of or that I haven't seen a lot of myself. This is the Love Magic Dress by Disco Stitch. It's a super 60s slash 70s style. It's got huge dramatic bell sleeves on there and it is a mini dress. It uses DK yarn and US 8 five millimeter needles. So the yarn that they used was from Less Traveled Yarn and it is 75% merino, 25% nylon. Now they also have top versions of this dress in the pattern and basically just a top version that's the top of the dress with no skirt. And then they also have a top version that has more um, mellow sleeves. They're not as dramatic and there's just a slight flare. I picture myself, if I were to knit this, to do something kind of in between where it's about halfway between the toned down version and the dramatic version. I do love a bell sleeve, but this I figure would get in the way of a lot of things if I went full bell sleeve with this. I think I would love to do something in a more neutral, like understated color since it is such a bold pattern to begin with. Something in like a light dusty pink would be beautiful as that's my go-to all the time lately. And I would love to add kind of like a higher neck because I love the higher neck with this type of style of dress. And instead of having that like cinched in waist I think I'd want something that doesn't have like a clear line as to where the waist starts I want something more gradual just for my personal style I would like that and I think this would be so beautiful as someone knit this up for a wedding dress so if anyone out there is watching and loves this kind of style is getting married soon and always want to knit their dress I think this could be a really amazing pattern. I mean, you could make it longer if you wanted. You could do some modifications with this type of style. Oh my God, I love it so much. And this goes for $9 USD. So now to a more basic style of dress that kind of could fit for more people's style. And this is the Knit Girl Summer Top and Dress by Joanne Ho. It is just a super simple v-neck dress with some ties up at the top and it's got a nice little waist detail. They've knit this up in a few samples with different lengths. So a mini just above the knee and they have some middies as well, which I love the midi version. It's got a beautiful slit up the leg and they did one in a dark green, kind of like an army dark olive green, and it is to die for. I think that's exactly how I would make mine if I were to make one. And they used We Are Knitters, the cotton for these samples, a DK weight yarn, and US 6 4 millimeter, and US 4 3.5 millimeter. And this particular pattern goes for $13 Canadian. And this too could just be a perfect staple piece for your summer wardrobe. Again, you could pair a shirt under it, you could dress it up, you could dress it down, and it is cotton, so it is nice and breathable. Okay, the Melita's Dress by Inez Oliveira, and hopefully I'm pronouncing all of that correctly. This one is using Knitting for Olive Pure Silk, a light fingering weight yarn using US 2.5 3mm and US 1.5 2.5mm. So this would be quite the project using fingering in that light or those small of needles, but it could be worth it. This is just a stunning piece. It's got really dainty buttons all the way down and it is a reversible dress so you can wear the buttons in the front or the buttons in the back. It's got gorgeous seaming details on either side and it looks like some waist shaping as well. Um, and it says that it's a tailored piece that you'll be able to easily put together for the perfect fit of your unique body size and shape. So it says, fear not, if you're like me, you have to get your bikini tops and bottoms as separate. So this dress here is to hug all of your curves and concerns. So I think it gives you lots of direction and instructions on how to tailor the dress perfectly to your size, which is perfect. We all love that. And in the samples here, they do it in long mini versions and they all look so beautiful and to have a dress in knitting for olive 
pure silk would be luxurious and a dream in my opinion. And I don't know if I said it already, but this pattern goes for 17, 10 euros. And I believe that's because there is so much information about how to customize it for your own body shape. Next up, we have the Bridget dress, which is by Loopy Mango. This one is a free pattern download on Ravelry. It uses an Aran weight yarn and uh, US 15 10 millimeter needles. So I threw this one in here because it is a free download and also because it would be a perfect beginner dress for any new knitters out there or anyone that hasn't tackled a dress yet and wants to ease into it. It looks like you just knit two panels, seam them together. It's garter stitch with some drop stitch details, it looks like. It looks like there's like little to no shaping on this dress, so it'd be super simple, and, and you can modify it in any way. I love the way that they accessorized this one in the last photo here with the big belt. That's how I would wear it. Um, and it could be a perfect little like beach cover up if you did a shorter version, just since there are a lot of like see-through parts would be perfect for the beach. Next we have the Dagny dress by Anna and Heidi Pickles. As I'm looking at this now, it is saying that it was published in a magazine but it is no longer available. However, this is basically just like a simple sweater dress so I feel like you can modify any basic sweater out there and just lengthen it and this can kind of give you inspiration as to how to style it or modify it into a dress version. I love how they styled it with the cool belts. It is um, a worsted weight yarn using US 7 4.5 and US 9 5.5 millimeters so it might not be the best thing to wear midsummer. however if you're from where I am or like in a cooler climate this could be a good piece for the transitional seasons or spring, just getting into summer where it's still a little bit cool. And this could give you a bit of warmth. Um, they did do some fun versions of this dress with big pom-poms at the bottom hem, which is so fun. However, I don't see that being very practical with sitting down on big pom-poms, but it does show you what you can do to modify a dress and make it your own. Some cool fringe I think would be a great alternative to pom-poms just so it's more comfortable. And um, yeah, it just shows you that you can, you don't have to stop at the hem with ribbon. You can add different pieces or maybe add cool things to the neckline or the sleeves from your basic sweater dress pattern and go from there. The Nordic summer dress is next and this is from Witter Design. It is about 963 Canadian dollars, it says, and it is using Sandus Garn Lina um, worsted weight yarn, so seven millimeter stitches. So I think this could be quite a quick knit. It is just your basic summer dress. Again, you could pair it with a shirt underneath, just as is. They pair it with a belt too, which looks really cute. And Nothing much to say about this. It just looks like a really super simple A-line shape dress and one that you can also dress up or down and could be perfect to wear all throughout summer. The crossed summer dress here, and this is by Anne Catherine Bush. It is about $9 Canadian. It uses a light fingering yak yarn in this version here with some silk content in it. It uses US 4 3.5 and US 6 4 millimeter needles. This pattern here is so gorgeous and simple. It's got your two straps that come together at the back into a cross and some really beautiful shaping details along each side and a nice slit up the side. So this one I picture being more of one that you can dress up a little more easily than the past ones that I've shown. And um, I love how they knit this in like a midi version, just mid calf. Again, you can always lengthen it longer or shorten it or do a tank top version, but I love what they did here in the sample. I just think it looks perfect. And our final dress from the list of 10 for our summer dress knits here, we've got the 
All Good Dress by Magdalena Parker. This goes for $9 USD. They used knitting for olive merino and it is a fingering weight yarn using US two and a half, three millimeter needles. As you can see, there's quite a lot going on. Um, as And when I say that, I mean, there's a lot of fabric in this dress. So I feel like it would be quite the project to take on. Um, it is just like your simple dropped sleeve t-shirt dress. Looks like there's no shaping in this, so it could just be a lot of stockinette. And it looks like there could be some folded hemline, which great, it gives a nice professional finish to it, I think. This one, if I were to knit one for myself to make it more my style, I think I would knit it shorter just because it is quite baggy and I would style it with a big chunky belt that I have and it's like tan colored kind of bamboo and I think it would look really good especially with this like white creamy color that they did the sample in. So this one I think could leave a lot of room for modifications and that's why I chose it because you could add like fringe detailing or any kind of lace to the bottom if you wanted and it is just like a really basic shape so I think it could be great for just like leaving the beach in if that's something you want or something loose when it's too hot and you don't want a whole lot on you or you could either like crochet or macrame a cool belt for it or knit like an i-cord belt for it but there's just lots of room for like styling and bringing your own personal style into this pattern and that's why I wanted to add this one to the list. You could also just cut it short and make it a cute boxy oversized top that would be cool for summer too. So those are all the patterns that I chose for this video and that are giving me a lot of inspiration and getting me excited for the upcoming spring and summer seasons. I hope you all enjoyed these patterns and are feeling inspired too. If you have any summer knits that you are looking forward to knitting and they weren't on this list, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to check them out for myself and maybe get even more inspiration. Um, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it and if you've gotten this far, please consider liking the video, commenting, or subscribing if you haven't already. I hope to see you all in the next week or two with a more traditional style podcast episode of all of my finished projects, my current whips, and some acquisitions that I've recently got for my knitting projects. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.